Hello, Pride of the Nation, and welcome to 2010. I got into this year really excited and happy, um, full of expectation. Uh, you know, I, I keep emphasizing the fact that when I read the profiles on the, on the site, it really excites me seeing what the ladies have written. And I, I see that, you know, Project 101 went on very well, which is really encouraging to me and to, to the few who um, got themselves really involved in Project 101. But yeah, 2009 is gone, and we're in 2010 now. What are your dreams? What are your expectations? And I have three questions I, I, I need to ask you, which is, where were you? Where are you now, and where are you going to? These are the three questions. Where have you been? Where are you now, and where are you going to? Do you want stories in your lives or results? And if you want results, which I think that's what you want in your life, but that's what I want in my life, then you need to act now. You need to begin to take actions. Uh, a lot of us do write resolutions, New Year resolutions. But I think I don't remember the last time I wrote one, a New Year resolution. I, I write goals. And honestly, if you write like 20 resolutions or 20 goals, you end up at the middle of the year or towards the end of the year finding that you haven't even done number one. So there's no need writing out so a very long list. But what I would say to you, POT, is that this year should be a different year for you. This year should be a year that you have achieved something and you can look back and you can say, yes, I've achieved this and you're happy and you're fulfilled that you've achieved this. So what I would encourage you to do is, what is that one thing? What is that very one thing that if you did achieve in 2010 will make your life glow, will make you really happy? will make you excited, will just make you feel like a different person. Write that one thing down. Then write out all the steps that you need to do to achieve that one thing. And after you've achieved that one, one thing, then set another one. So take action now. Don't go for stories, go for results. And if you're chosen results, then act. And by acting, choose one thing in your life right now that if you did achieve it, would make you really, really happy. I wish you all the best in 2010, and I look forward to hearing about that one thing you've chosen and how you've achieved it. Welcome to 2010.